in this video we will be invoking some of the transactions as we have already created the network using crypto materials created by the certificate authorities so we in our network right now we have three certificate authorities organization one certificate authority organization two certificate authority and the organization order organization certificate authority so let's see our network if our network is up and running or not docker docker ps docker ps we will get all the running containers now our network is up and running now what we have to do we have to run the api server go to api 2.0 and here we have to run the server but before running the server we have to make some changes uh, let's go into the vs code yeah so you can see in api 2.0 uh, one more thing i want to explicitly mention here from this video and onwards we will be using api 2.0 server only not 1.4 because that is already deprecated just for the understanding some of the concepts i we have created server using api 1.4 but now we will be using fabric network sdk so that that all the things are implemented inside api 2.0 here you can see so the main thing we have to change the connection profile we have to add some configuration changes because we have created the new crypto materials and for that those newly generated crypto materials we have to add here as well because for the peer 0 peer 1 and the certificate authority this tls cs certs we have to add here so at the first change that is a tls cs cert so where exactly we can check that oh, so we can go through where exactly these are available so in the crypto config this is the crypto config folder created by the certificate authorities and we have order organization and peer organization so inside the peer organization so here we have to provide the tls cs cert for the peer0org1.example.com and here you can see inside the peers we have two peers so for both of the peer we have to provide the tls cs certificate so let's see where exactly it is so go to the tls cs cert and inside the tls cs cert you can see one certificate is there so this certificate what you have to do just copy this we have to uh, adjust in a single line uh, maybe if you have subline just copy and paste here and just in a faster way you can just actually do uh, shift alt down slash n delete now we have added slash n at the end of the line and uh, made on the single line slash n at the end of the file as well and here slash n delete now this is the single line certificate just copy this certificate and paste in for the peer zero organization one at the end and you can paste it here yeah i have already done this and no need to do it again and for the peer one organization one as well the, just follow the same steps we have followed for the org, uh, peer zero organization one for the peer one organization one as well inside the tls folder so we have tls csr and just adjust the same things uh, which we have done just before some time and for the certified authority certificate here you can see in the organization level we have tlsca and this is the same fold uh, for the certified authority uh, inside organization hierarchy in the msp you can see there is a folder tlsca search and inside that there is a certificate file so just do the same things here just copy paste and make in uh, just try to adjust in a single line and paste it here now we are done with this the updater connection or dot json so in the test network they have mentioned how to automate this script probably you can just follow that but maybe uh, in upcoming video i will try to do the same things but right now we are manually doing this thing adding these certificate files now the connection profile is updated we can start our server now
we are already inside the API. Norman app dot js. Now server is running. Now what we can do just trigger some of the transactions. You can see here. Just I'm registering the new user. The initial at the initial stage, the new user will get registered, and you will get token. So at the first time admin will also get registered so now we can see admin and this username social would be would be there inside the crypto wallet organization one wallet and here admin dot id social dot id you can see along with the admin there is another one user so it means the all the all the things are working with newly generated certificate as well and using this we will invoke some transactions now add car update authorization token now we will add supercar eight 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 this random car any I'm sending the transaction you can see the log here yeah successfully updated now we can see on the to here in causedb ui as well just i'm refreshing it supercar 8888 would be here yeah so in this way we can invoke the transactions as well uh, using those certificates uh, which are created by the certificate authorities now for the new users anyway we were using the same certificate authorities that is running instances but for the creating the certificate authorities as well we were using the certificate which which created by the cryptogen tool but right now from the last three video you can uh, you might uh, you have already seen that how we can create the certificate using certificate authorities uh, that's it for this video in case if you are facing any issue just let me know in the comment section thank you so much stay tuned for the more update